Hi guys, through this video I'm going to show to you the ability of Shelter to identify self-modifying code on runtime. For this example, I just um, modified uh, this application in order to uh, change uh, a portion of code of itself and then uh, try to execute it in order to create a proof of concept um, for this video. So, let's try to, to trace this application. So, we're going to say yes, that we want to check uh, for, for self-modifying code while tracing. And then, Shelter is going to ask if we want to pause tracing if self-modifying code detection um, occurs. So we're going to say yes. And let's see what happens. Tracing starts. We see that uh, self-modifying code was detected. Uh, current instruction is just a knob. And the original instruction was this. And now Shelter is going to ask if we want to stop tracing. If we say no, it will trace the next instruction and we see that again finds a modified code. Instruction is a knob, the original instruction is this. So we can say just uh, stop the tracing. And uh, we can now select again uh, the payload. Just a simple uh, non encoded uh, cell code that uh, lands calculator. We're not going to make use of uh, polymorphic code. We're going to see all this in the next videos. And uh, we're not going to see, or maybe we can do this at this uh, point. Uh, we see we have uh, five, let's say, uh, six in total uh, locations. So We see here what basically was happening. Uh, that uh, this instruction was writing to this address here, knobs, and then it was basically jumping there. You can't see here the call instruction, but this basically got what was happening. So now Shelter doesn't uh, show to us um, more instructions here because uh, it will not uh, let us to inject code after this instruction because this means that our cell code would probably fall on um, on a part of the code that is get, gets modified in memory which means that um, we would break our cell code if we would attempt to write into those addresses so let's just uh, inject there and uh, I'm going to run and we see that everything works fine cell code was injected successfully um, thank you very much for watching